everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just watched Orphan Black, and the episode was called The Few Who Dare. And it starts right where the last episode left us, and... Whoo, yeah, they spared no punches. It's just free-flowing adrenaline non-stop throughout, and you are just on the edge of your seat. <laughs> and... Kasima is on an island. It's very cultish and it's self-sustained. Uh, they do have some good ideas. I granted, however, it's just it's so heaven's gate-ish that it's not even funny. But they have this methodology of reversing the the whole curse thing, the um <clears throat> the blight or the um <clears throat> the sickness that the clones have, and of course, Kasima is still the one who has it, and uh, it's interesting what happens with Rachel in, in this episode. It actually made me very uncomfortable. I thought, oh, please, God, no, please, God, no, because I was just, I don't usually yell at my television. I'm like, no, 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 and <laughs> I was really invested, and this is the first time a show other than Doctor Who has done that to me. Um... It's one of the rare instances that I become extremely invested in um, characters on a television show. And, uh, of course, <laughs> Allison and and Donnie, <laughs> Dundering Donnie, as I like to call him, or Dunderhead Donnie, they're with Helen, Helena, who I just, I love Helena so much. I just, she's so cool. She's just badass. I, I just adore her. At first, you know, it's funny. I hated her character, but then I grew to love her even more, especially when she went through hell and she talked to um, her imaginary scorpion. And I just thought that was so cool. It was just very allegorical. And, you know, I, I saw her in the scorpion and it was just so interesting the storytelling that they do in, in this particular series and it's amazing. I'm kind of wondering what that creature was too that attacked Sarah in the forest and she had to burn a, a picture of her daughter in order to survive and in the woods alone and I was thinking is that a, a chimera? I was thinking I didn't see a tail on it but we've seen chimeras before or I, I, I'm not I don't know for sure but it I just have a feeling it's a chimera. We haven't seen Chimeras since epi uh, first season, or was it season two? I think it was first season. Don't quote me on that, because I remember when I was getting into it, I thought, oh, that's pretty interesting, because we usually don't see um, creatures like that in shows. Uh, is about a mutation. The only other show that uh, chronicles mutation very well is Legion, because it deals with the X-Men and Xavier's son, but... Anyway, that's a show entirely different from this one. But it's just it's so interesting. It's, you get the whole idea of the island of Dr. Moreau. It deals with that. And uh, Neil Lucian, we're still <laughs> on the topic of uh, how Rachel Scott stakes claimed with Cosima. And I thought, ooh, this does not bite well. I just, it just was so cringeworthy. I, I thought, ah, I don't know. I don't like where this is going. I still don't like where it's going. I don't like Rachel, but could it be that she's going to redeem herself? I don't know. It's, it's difficult to say, but it was just another sensational episode and I'm going to miss this show when it's gone. <laughs> and I know there are other shows that are, that'll take its place for me. It's just, um, one of the, the better ones out there and best written shows that I've seen in a long time. But they're going to give us the finale that a show really deserves. And